Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll see how we can create Oracle free cloud tier account. Uh, so how to uh, create all that, uh, we'll see. So for that, first we should go to oracle.com. So once we go to oracle.com page, so we can see uh, a page, right? Uh, and here, uh, so we can see one one page for uh, OCI free trial tier. So here we can use uh, the start your cloud free account. So using this we can create account. And so here click for click on the button start for free. If you have existing account, so we can use existing account. So with this uh, free cloud account, so we'll get this uh, free access, autonomous database and object storage. And in addition to that, $300 of credit, so which we can use for further uh, services. So first we should select account um, country. So for now I'm selecting India as a country. And then I'm giving name. And also I'm giving email and so it's asking uh, to select uh, image okay. containing both. Verified. Once this step is done, we need to verify. So, uh, an email email, email uh, link is sent to the specified mail. So, we should go to the email. Then I got a mail. So I'll click on verify email. As soon as I, I, I entered, uh, I verified. So in my page, uh, I can see uh, to set up a password. So I'm set up a password. Can give company name <laughs> and cloud account name will be this and you can select home region. So I'll select India South as a home region and then continue. <clears throat> so, and then we need to enter address. So I'm stopping uh, sharing here. Uh, so after this step, I'll again uh, start. So after after providing all this address and uh, phone number, so then we should click continue for payment verification. So here we need to add payment details. Uh, we should have uh, 
a credit card so we can use that for the uh, payment method so it won't charge anything but uh, it will uh, for verifying it, it it will cost around uh, one dollar or 1.5 dollar so i'm adding a credit card Once I entered a uh, credit card information, I need to click on finish. So it will verify the uh, uh, payment method and then uh, we need to click on close. So once that is done, we need to click on agreement. So then start my free trial. It might take a few seconds to process. So, so it will it will do uh, some setting. We'll wait for a few seconds, and then the account will be ready. So our account got created. Now, uh, whatever we saw, right, uh, the cloud account name. So I have given like uh, my email name. And password we have already, uh, uh, we have used it. So I click next. So this is, our, this is my cloud uh, name. Cloud account name. So after giving the cloud account name, then we need to give username and password. So I'll use my email and uh, Uh, then whatever the password we have uh, used that we need to use here. And then click on sign in. So, so our account is uh, created and we have logged in and then we need to uh, so we need to select uh, this option. So this is just to customize our uh, home page. So I'll select application administrator. So I'll save. So after our uh, free trial for, uh, ended, so then uh, if you want to uh, use still, uh, we need to uh, activate, uh, we need to pay something. Uh, you, uh, if we activate services, it will be debited uh, from our credit card, which we have given in the initial uh, setup. Okay, so now our cloud account is ready. So uh, now we can create uh, instances uh, or 
OCA instance, something like that. So we'll see how to uh, create a Oracle Integration Cloud instance. So for that, uh, we should go to this this uh, navigator, and then so here we can see a message: your account is currently being set up, and some features will be unavailable. So we need to wait for some time to finish uh, this setup. So then we'll get an option to create a. Oracle Integration Cloud Instance. Also, once we uh, set up this complete, uh, we'll get this uh, welcome email where we can see a uh, cloud account name and then user name. So, and we are still waiting to complete this uh, setup. So once it is completed, we'll, uh, we'll start using the creating the OAC instance. So when we, when we uh, clicking on create in integration instance, we are getting uh, you are not authorized to create or edit integration instance. So <clears throat> this might be because of uh, the root compartment we have chosen. So what we will do, we'll create uh, another compartment under uh, this root compartment and then we'll try so to create a compartment we should go to uh, identity and security and there we can see compartments right so here we need to uh, click on create compartment so here i can give compartment name <coughs> i'm giving uh, so name the OPC. Okay. and I'm taking <clears throat> so description is required. So my compartment is created under uh, <coughs> my uh, root compartment. <coughs> if I if I click on my root compartment, so I can see my uh, child compartment. So now we'll we'll go to uh, to create integration uh, account. We'll go to developer services and then. <coughs> integration so again we will uh, select the child compartment i selected uh, the child compartment just now we created and i click on create so now it's allowing to create instance so now uh, we'll give the, the display name. and here also we'll give instance name so the will give soon uh, dev and then i'll click on create so my instance is creating so we'll wait for some time to create uh, this account so if even if i uh, if i want to create one more instance i can just click create and then use it uh, for test instance or something like that <clears throat> so i'll refresh to check my integration account status So it's still in creating creation status. So we'll wait for some time. So if you want to know the uh, in, in 
integration instance creation status we can click on this display name and then we can go to uh, work requests and here uh, we can see completion percentage of completion and then even if you want more details you can click on this integration create integration instance link and then here we can see the percentage completion so when it started and when it's finish it uh, so all that we can see here it will take a it will take few minutes to complete and sometimes even more so now uh, it is completed 100% now we'll see the integration instance status okay so now our environment is ready and integration account is created so to navigate to the integration account we should go we should click on this three dots and then we should uh, we can go we can click on this uh, service console so i just clicked on this service console now uh, this is my integration account, integration cloud account URL. So I can log in with my username and password, or else I can come to here and then I can uh, I can go to integration cloud instance. So now here uh, I have a processes process process cloud cloud and then integrations uh, I can do here and as well as visual builder. So all these are provision to me uh, by default. So if we want to create any integrations, I can create here. So this is how we can create uh, in Oracle integration cloud uh, freely uh, with, with uh, using uh, Oracle cloud prompt. So that's all for today. Thank you.